Hi, I'm Jeff Schroeder. And I'm Jordan Lloyd. We met and fell in love on the TV series Big Brother. After three years of dating, we decided to take the next step and move to Los Angeles. We're taking Route 66 from Chicago to Los Angeles. We don't know how it's going to end up, but we're definitely going to enjoy the ride. Could you be a little happier? No, you make me mad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Last time on Jeff and Jordan Do America, we caught an eight rattlesnake in Okeen, Oklahoma. And now Jordan and I are trying to finish the 72 ounce steak challenge in Amarillo, Texas. I don't think we can do this seriously because I want to throw up. There's hundreds of people who finished this challenge and it's just one person to finish. So if two of us couldn't finish, we'd look like huge losers. <laughs> and then we hit a wall at like the 20 minute mark. 21 minutes left and this is all we have left and two rolls, but this is what I'm worried about. <clears throat> Noises started to come out of you around 20 minutes too, so I knew, knew something was trouble. Gagging and noises coming out both holes. <laughs> 15 minutes, it's all mental now. Jordan just got determined and was focused on winning this, and I saw that, I'm like, we got just a little bit left, we could really take this home if we just knuckle up. And Jordan just pushed his silverware away, went in there like a caveman and was ripping me to part with her hands. There was no more talking, dipping au jus. I think her hair was in there a little bit and just went after it. And I was like, kind of turned on. It's gross, but I was. What do you think? We got two winners here. Two winners. We did it then, huh? Thank you so much. I mean, I know this is a, a special, I know this is a special thing that we got to do it together, but I appreciate you letting us do it because there's no way I could ever, ever, ever do that by myself. The official time for us Finishing the 72 ounce steak and the sides was 56 minutes and 28 seconds. I'm proud because there's no, I mean, usually it's supposed to be one person. I know it takes away and everyone's gonna be like, oh, big deal, it's two of you, anyone can do that. But step up when you're in Texas, go try it out because it's not as easy as you think. Even though the mood has been dropped a little bit after the doctor's diagnosis, you know, we're still pushing through. We still have to get to LA and we're trying to make the most of this trip. So we decided to stop by the Cadillac Ranch. It's one of the most famous stops on Route 66. It's where people come and spray paint their names on Cadillacs that are stuck in the ground. What are you gonna write on there? Jordan and Jeff. Jordan loves Jeff. What are you gonna write? Jeff's the best. <laughs> We signed our night, well kind of, we did a J and J and a heart, and yeah, it was pretty cool. It was cute. It was very cute. It was a cute stop. Alright love, that's it. Permanently marked ourselves on Route 66 and in Texas, now it's on to New Mexico. Good job. So Jeff and I are in Albuquerque right now, and we keep passing these signs for psychics. We're moving to California. We don't have a place yet. We've been looking. Um, My arm's busted. Your arm's messed up. That's, we're not off to a good start. You think we should go see a psychic today? I've never been to a psychic before. Um, it's kind of quiet. All right, again, I'd like to start with a prayer. Could I use this hand? Absolutely. All right. Okay. To be honest with you, the only praying that I'm gonna do is in church. She pulls out this deck of cards and we got to pick 10 of them. Aw, you guys, I'm getting chills because look what card you got. What? The lovers. Aww. It's divine love. You guys are getting married. Can I come to the wedding? <laughs> yeah. See, so now you can relax. You know what's coming, so, so you can you stop asking. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know what to think, honestly. I was kind of freaked out, but I kind of thought it was weird. Well, thank you. I guess it's time to get back on the You're safe road of happiness. Safe and safe road of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> and go and rock and roll and go dancing with the galaxies or whatever. Yeah, guys. we're going to go dance with the galaxies. Go dancing with the galaxies, you guys. All right. Thank you so much. So this morning we wake up and Jeff's arm looks not like it's getting better. It seems like it's getting worse. So we decided it would be best if Jeff flew to Los Angeles to get his surgery. And I don't know how long I'm gonna be out for, but you know, just go as far as you can. Like I said, I have those things lined up for you. Have fun with it. And then I'll meet up with you so you don't have to finish the rest of the drive by yourself, you know? No, if you couldn't, I'm not gonna finish the drive without you. This is supposed to be something that we're 
we're supposed to do together. And this is like a big step in our relationship moving, and I know he wants to hurry up, get it over with, so he can come back and we can finish the trip. Bye, love. Have a big trip. Love you. Be careful. After I dropped Jeff off at the airport, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I went up um, to the peak to have lunch, just to kind of clear my head, think about this whole road trip so far, think about what's going to happen. I really wish Jeff was here to see this. It's beautiful, all the rocks and the landscape and everything. This is something right up his alley. I really, really wish he was here. Coming up on Jeff and Jordan Do America. Are we ready to go? Yeah. I would have peed in my pants. What's going on? I'm going to need surgery tomorrow.